Hey guys, what's up? This is Samsung, and it's up here with a new video. And here I have my rooted LG Optimus V. I know in the past I've been against rooting. You can see all the fingerprints right here. But um, right here, um, I'm running Cyanogen Mod 7, and I have Launcher Pro as my launcher. Um, and it is not overclocked, but it's running at a higher uh, maximum rate. So it's running at 8. Let's check the stats real quick. So the highest it can go is 864 and the lowest right now, which is when scaling, is 748.8. In the past, before I installed this ROM, well I know you can do this on a bunch of other ROMs, but um, especially on the stock ROM, you can't get this um, really high you know, maximum percentage uh, amount. The highest you can go with the stock ROM is around 600. 864 is a really big improvement, and if, you know, that's much better than 600, so it's running very fast. Um, let's do a benchmark real quick. And I know the Quadrant Standard benchmark isn't um, optimized for gingerbread, but let's do it anyway. As you can see, I did it before, I'm just doing it again. That last one I got around 1029, so let's compare it to this one. Again, this isn't going to be the most amazing quadrant standard benchmark in the world. Again, this is a, only a mid-range phone. In the past, I've gotten right below the, the original Nexus One with 2.1. Um, so that that was actually really good for a stock, you know, moderate phone getting right below the, the Nexus. And I usually get above the uh, desire just by a little bit. But now that it is running a little bit higher, I would expect more out of it. Yeah, it, it did drop a little bit 997, but before it was 1029. So around 1000 is the uh, standard for this right now. Let's go to my system settings. Whoop. As you can see, see everything is gingerbreaded and out. And I do have a blue underglow because I'm running the, um, I forget what it's called, but it's a theme from CM7. It just looks like a, the ice cream sandwich a little bit, so I like it. As you can see, I'm running 2.3.3. Uh, I have AOS, PC mod, OV, all that other good stuff. And I've noticed, I'm not sure if it's the type of uh, overclocking I've been doing, because the, uh, the program I do use to have it, well not overclocked, but you know, to raise it up, it does have an option for power saving, and that's what I've been running for the past couple weeks. And I have to say, I've been getting, you know, really much better, you know, uh, results out of this. Um, on days that I don't, I don't use my phone, I use it like I used to. I, you know, turn it off, not all the way, but on standby in my pocket. I get home after like a seven-hour day at school, and it's still at, you know, 100%. That's pretty good. In the past, of, you know, it's only at like 80%. Right now, with, with like moderate usage, I get home, and it's still at like 95%, so that's pretty good. Um... Everything just looks much better in this ROM. It's just cleaner. I do like, I did like the Froyo bar, but this bar really, um, I guess black, it makes, it just makes the phone look a, a little cooler right now, because the black, uh, this is a black phone, so, everything looks cooler. And I do have a font changer too, but, um, right now it is actually a different font. Um, I'm not sure if you can notice it in the lock screen, but it's a little bit different in the clock. And that's another thing I want to point out, it's the uh, lock button animation that comes standard in gingerbread, so this is official gingerbread. Let's do this test real quick. This isn't much of a test because this application really doesn't need much to run it. You can run it on the uh, 
HTC Magic and it'll come out pretty good. And if you don't know, that phone was crap, so... So stay still, calibrating. Here we go. And if you don't know, this app is called SpeedX 3D. Just in case you didn't know. And if you can tell, I died, so... I'm not the best. Here's Angry Birds. Yeah, I'm not very, very good. Oh, jeez. Wow, I really lost. Alright, anyway. I know there was a problem with Angry Bird on this phone in the past, um, because that was because of Froyo, and, uh, Froyo was Android version 2.2. If you didn't know, Froyo had an issue that, um, when you were playing a game, if it involved touching the screen, um, it would respond and it would start lagging, and that was the problem with Angry Birds, because you always had to, you know, drag the bird back. And it would start lagging every time you go from, um, uh, from bird to the actual, you know, structure. So, and they fixed that in Gingerbread, so I'm guessing the update made it run a lot faster. Another thing I want to point out about this is that they brought back the, um, the toggles on the top from 2.1. So I do, do like that a lot. And, um... When you get CM7, you get everything standard, uh, you know, you get Super User, and you get File Manager, DSPS Manager, which is basically a Sound Manager, Dev Tools, um, all that stuff. So, um, I guess that's about it for this video. I'm Samsung Intercept ABC, and this is a video about the LG Optimus V CM7.